And we start with that breaking news and a situation that's been unfolding all night long. Parents secure that backup child care because school is canceled in Montgomery County today. All because of this. Take a look here. A small plane crashed into power lines, knocking out power to more than 90,000 people. Now, crews did restore electricity overnight, but the decision has been made to keep schools closed today. 7 News reporter Joy Wang is live for us at the scene of that crash. And Joy, we're getting a good look at the plane this morning. We are. We've had crews here all night since that crash yesterday during the rescue. This morning, my photographer Mike Rudd and I getting here as they're getting ready to get that plane to the ground along with it, the engine too. And so what you're seeing behind me right now is that plane now on the ground. You can see all of that damage to the front end of the plane. It looks like a crashed can. You can't even really piece together what's happening there up in the front. And then right next to it, the wing also extremely damaged too. And if if you go farther out, you're also seeing a black device behind those two people working, and that is the engine coming down about 20 minutes after the aircraft. Now, we do want to mention the two people working on the ground right now. What you're seeing, that coil as well as that piece of metal, they were able to bring that down from just above. And to give you an idea of just how far up this plane was stuck inside that tower, we're taking you all the way up. Crews were up there four hours. They just came down a few minutes ago to continue working on repairing that tower, but that is just how far up that plane was crashed in. Two people stuck in there four hours as a crowd of people out here watched and prayed. Now, first responders say crews got here about 530 yesterday afternoon after reports of a plane crashing into a power line. And you can see just how foggy those conditions were really for hours, making it difficult to not just see the plane dangling 100 feet in the air, but also rescuing those inside. Maryland State Police tell us the pilot is 65 year old Patrick Merkel from DC and the passenger 66 year old Jan Williams from Louisiana. Now at first those two people they were on the phone with dispatch. Then they had to conserve battery with periodic phone calls with rescuers actually on scene checking in every 30 minutes around midnight. Crews were able to secure that plane with both patients taken to the hospital with serious injuries shortly after 1230. Both were had traumatic injury and uh, didn't appear to be life threatening, but it was traumatic. And as the chief suggested, and as you probably figured out, there's some hypothermia issues and they've been out there very anxious and very happy to get be down. They were communicating with us the entire time as well as on their way to the ambulance. And as you heard in that soundbite just now, people cheering because of all of the efforts from those first responders about two and a half hours after that rescue just before three o'clock this morning with those foggy conditions clearing up. Crews were able to bring that plane down, untangling the engine from the power lines shortly after Maryland State Police, the FAA and NTSB are investigating for a while. About 120,000 people living in the area did not have power, but early this morning that power was restored. Now back out here live, we are hearing them again working on that piece of metal that came from the tower and we've been hearing that noise and we've been seeing crews really working around the clock power even though it has been restored they of course are still trying to work on getting this tower and those power lines up and running again you are seeing the plane behind me a lot of crews a lot of different agencies working together to not only rescue the people on that plane but also continue the work now live in gaithersburg joy wang seven news